Hello, welcome to the ITL. This stands for, well, originally stood for In the Lawn, but we decided to call it In the Lounge. Yes, you can see that I have the weather that moved in like most of the United States. I believe it was, like I said, 50 states got a, a, actually a deep chill from the Arctic blast that came from Canada, up from Canada. Um, you can see the uh, weather has left me kind of iced in on the alleyway. So the goat's kind of uh, kaput, in, actually frozen into my garage. It's being taken care of all right. Um, it's actually, since we've been getting temperatures, oh, actually around 10 degrees and dropping down even lower into the minus degree temperatures. I have, the, I have it all taken care of, all the battery keeping warm and everything. So let's move on to what... Um, I wanted to cover today, which was not the really the weather. Even though the I'll be uh, hopefully within a few days supposed to be pop up above the 40s, and the ice will be gone, then I'll be able to maintain it for the polar bear challenge. Nice little plug in there. Okay, let's move on. I want to talk about something that I uh, have mentioned in the previous videos that I have had gifted to me. And I had, I do not have any type of, this is not a sponsor, I am not getting paid for anything of this. But I figure I'll go ahead and throw it out to you guys. I uh, found a way of creating a DVR to record over the air videos. TV, basically. And I, I've, it's not hard to do at all and I mean I've done it and I'll explain it out through that for this video I hope it'll make it really quick it's through this yes this is the HD home run dual by silicon dust now this is the older model you can buy a newer model that has better features and everything else but this is the older model it actually works with uh, Vista no problem you only need one gigabyte of hard drive, of RAM. Uh, basically, I mean, it's it comes with a one-year warranty. You need a one to two four one two four gigabyte per hour for recording. Now, I've talked about the aspect of how this works. You have two tuners. You can hook it up. I actually hooked, hooked it up t in line with my antenna, aerial antenna, to my TV. I have a splitter that splits off, goes and goes by itself to the TV. Then one of the wires go into this. This has a dual tuner on it. This is also hooked up to the uh, my network, which I have hooked up for wireless in my house. A lot of people don't like that. I do. Um, so any type of any computer in my house can watch TV, record TV wirelessly in my house. So what I ended up doing so to work as a DVR, I have an old E machine. I mean this thing's eight years old. It's a dual core, one of the original dual cores, cheapo E machines had a one gigabyte of RAM in it, one gigabyte, which is ridiculous for what I had for Vista, but it has Vista in it. It originally was bought with Windows XP. Right after I purchased it, I mean, before I even got it, got my hands on it, it came up with an upgrade of Vista. And they asked me, do you want me to put Vista on it? I said, go ahead. This was from uh, Best Buy, I believe it was. And they said, I said, go ahead, put it on. Which I found out was a mistake. The one gigabyte did not run well with, with Vista. It does run, but does not run well. But do you know what? I used it as a desktop for, for a year and a half before I got my hold of my laptop which I do my videos on today. My, my laptop is dual core. It's got uh, four gigabytes of RAM in it. It does my videos not it's not fast but it does it for me. This old e-machine e desktop I had it set up in this room which is I used to be my computer room which now still really is. I do my videos in it and I do my video rendering it. But I use my laptop in here. The desktop was kind of pushed aside for all those years. I have a flat screen monitor for it which was a 20 inch and what I did is end up doing is I hooked that uh, desktop e-machine up to my TV downstairs in the family room. I hooked it up so I can watch, I can record the air, uh, TV off of air free 
onto the hard drive and watch it onto my TV for later. It's a DVR. I can also take that same videos and record them onto CDs, DVDs, whatever if they fit on. And also I'm planning on doing it as, so I can make it more portable, put them on USB uh, thumb drives. That works. It really works. I've already tried it out. It's, it's running beautifully with only one gigabyte of RAM. I'm planning on upping it to four in the future, put a bigger hard drive, I'm thinking two terabytes, and then I'm going to put Windows 7 on in the future. But this is in the future. It works now with Vista, one gigabyte of RAM, and it has only has a 130 gigabyte hard drive. The hard drive, I have, I do have like 70 something gigabytes are, are left on it. Plenty to record. I'll record, get it off, and uh, give me a couple weeks and get it off, no problem. It works. If you're looking for something that'll give you the capabilities of a DVR right off the air, and you could do this, you, from what I understand, this works for uh, most cable also. This might be the answer for you. This and an old machine, old, old desktop, or even a laptop. Another thing I'm planning on doing. I have my old laptop. My laptop I use all the time. I use it for making videos and everything else. My TV, since the United States switched over to digital over the air, my TV was useless in my bedroom until I bought the little uh, little uh, box they put on for the converter box. That converter box only lasted six months. And I gave up. I paid, well, it was like 60 something dollars, but the initial value, because I had a coupon, initial value was like 80 bucks for this box. It died in six months. I'm not doing it. What I end up doing now is I'm think uh, was planned on is setting up to be able to watch TV in my bedroom, which I'm not I don't I'm not a big fan of it anyway, but I like to be able to do it every now and then. With this, hold on a second. This is actually I'm moving the camera. This is actually my flat screen from my e machine. My flat screen monitor. It's a twin. The 20 inch monitor. I'm going to hook it into my laptop, which my laptop, I believe it's a 17 inch. Hook it on my laptop, set it up with a remote control. When you can buy computer remote controls that will work with the, the, the Windows Media Center, they're like, I've seen them between, they were between uh, like 8 bucks to $16. You can buy them. I've got one for downstairs, I just don't have it with me right now. Um, it works fine on the one I have down step downstairs. Uh, all, you have a lot of buttons that have no functions for it, for it on the Windows Media Center, but it does work. It does work wonderful. And I'm going to get another one of those. Have it for my bedroom. That way, if I want to watch TV, I can plan on hooking my laptop up to there, watch it from across the room a little better. Well, I've got my channels. I'm not missing my shows. I think it's a great idea. Money well saved since this was gifted, and actually the remote was gifted. The same peep, the same person that people gave me this as a gift, had the old remote from a setup they had for their computer, and gifted that to me. Which I thank them guys, and I know they will be watching this. Thank goes out for them. It works great. The only problem I had with my old e machine, which is not really with the e machine, it was since it was so. Uh, I had uh, different games, I had teenagers that played on it, and they downloaded stuff off the internet. It corrupted files, and it was just an upgrade of Vista. It wasn't the full out blow version of Vista that I had on that. The uh, sound codec was messed up, so I went up online and downloaded and blasted with every sound codec that I could find, and I got it running. It works beautiful. Now that is covered. I hope that everybody, since the ruling is going to be coming out over Ferguson, Missouri, I hope anybody that lives, everybody lives over there, be safe. I know there's a lot of basically uh, people going up, to, going over bus load just to start up stuff over there. Be safe, guys. I hope you do the best. I think what I think if there is riots over there, I think they're unseen. Or they're they're not really warranted, and I I just I, I feel I. I I, don't, I can't say too much about it because I I don't agree with it. And uh, 
let's just move on from there. Great video that you've seen from Navy Thomas Eight. I do uh, no, I do. Uh, I mention a lot of it. He has some good videos. He just came up with a video that he put together for about helmets, which I'll leave a link down in the description. Just look down there in the crankcase, right down there. And uh, I'll leave a description a link down there to it. It's a really good one about helmets. Uh, is the expensive ones really worth it? You know, the, the, I've been thinking this all along. I know about concussions, not as much as they've been finding out, but I had an idea. I have dealt with many concussions in my lifetime. I was a roughneck playing football in my younger years, and I've dealt with concussions through that. I got hit with baseballs in the, right in the forehead, line drives, knocked me down, concussions from that. My car accident was the biggest car concussion I've ever had, and I dealt with that. And then I also dealt with about seven, eight years ago, I had my garage door come off of its uh, roller slides and actually hit me in the back of the head, knocked me out, and I really still don't know how long I was out. I found myself waking up off the floor, bringing myself in, and telling my wife, hey, I should go to the hospital, I think, because I just got hit by a garage door. I really knew that, the, I mean, it was dangerous. Going into motorcycle riding, I was not fooled. I did not have my mind in the clouds. I knew it's dangerous. The thing is, you have to understand that the dangers are there, and are you willing to risk it? And there are certain things that you can do, possibly to, I mean, if it's an accident, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. But you can try to keep that at bay. You could do certain things, be alert, and try your best not to have those accidents. But if it's if it's if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. There's nothing you're going to do. And you have to have a full face mask, uh, a helmet. It does protect you. That way, you can have if nothing else, you can have an open coffin instead of a torn face. <sighs> Down on a sad note on that one. But yeah, um, it's a really good video made up by uh, Nebraska. Yeah, I know. God, and Navy Thomas A is a corn husker at heart. I haven't seen a lot of videos from him except for more recently, but yeah, cool, good, good job, Navy Thomas. I like that video. I've been seeing a lot of Polar Bear Challenge intro videos coming out. Good job, guys. I'm really getting excited, getting ramped up for the Polar Bear Challenge. Can't wait till this ice to get away. It's out the, out the window. And uh, once it gets away, I'm going to be piling some salt, piling in some, uh, some uh, sand. That way, hopefully, I can keep the ice going. Uh, may my, might get out of my control like this one did. This one came in overnight and just pounded us. And I had really no chance to really get off there. That's not my alley. I do not own that alley. I am a member of the community. And the community really should be taking care of the alley. But I do tend to snow blow this side, this side off to keep the ice away so I can keep get out on my bike. If there's ice, I do not play on ice. Which that one there right now, there is ice pretty much in the, all the way across. The, the center is actually not snow. If it, if it's just snow in the center, I normally work my bike out and ride down the center. I can't do that right now. So the goat is down for a, a couple of days. For a couple of days, I've been I've worked on the goat. I've been I uh, did a couple of things. I figured it might take a little bit longer. It didn't. The goat started acting up. With bad gas and a clogged air filter. No problem. I took the air filter. Wished out, cleaned it up, made it like new, rear oiled it, stuck it back in. She's running beautiful. Right now, I have a battery tender on her, keeping the battery up, even though she probably doesn't need it. I'm taking my, I'm not taking the chances. The battery's getting up there, a little aged and everything. It's not my having any problems with it. It's an a, a, a AGM battery that Navy Thomas Eight had put in it before I got it, and it's I've ran that battery down dead at least three times. Charged it back up, never had a problem with it. The, the going dead was my fault, not the bike, not the battery, my fault. Never had a problem with that battery. And I hope not to have a problem too soon with it. New tires on the bike, I've showed that in the, in the past. They're doing great, I got them all scrubbed out, they're doing wonderful. I was warned that they might turn hard in the cold. They're not hard right now, I've already looked at them and everything. They're, they're, doing, um, they're doing what I expected them to do. Um... I commented about the squeaking and the brake issues, brake issues on the previous video. That is just the front caliper. I've had the front caliper 
has been the vein of my existence since I've gotten the goat. It really should be replaced or rebuilt, more likely replaced. And that is just something I deal with every year. I just take it apart, work it, put it back together, put it on. I really, I'm planning on January, purchasing another uh, uh, caliper for it, slapping it on, and that should be that should take care of the whole problem. It's not really a problem unless you make it a problem because you have to know how to work on color. KLRs are easy to work on. Take it apart, lube it. Put it back together, make sure everything's the way it should be. Bam, you're good for the year. That's why I don't normally buy a caliper for it or rebuild kit because I do it once a year. It's good for a year. It doesn't give me a problem until towards the beginning of winter time or in the fall. That's just it. This is Muzzle Mike. I hope you hope that this was an enjoyable, somewhat enjoyable video. Sorry about the no riding videos. I do have one that is a rant that I've been holding back. Come on, forgetting to put it up. But I do have it up. I'll have it up sometime in the near future. But this is Muzzle Mike signing out. Hope you guys all have a great day and keep warm in the United States. This ain't going to last forever. Signing out.